Destiny has a lot of nuances to its gameplay in terms of player power. How strong you are, where that power comes from, how you obtain it. One of these paths to progression is how you upgrade all of your gear, from your weapons to your armor. If you're a new or returning player, it can be rather overwhelming at times trying to figure it all out. So today, I'm going to try my best to explain it all as easily as possible. That way you can always come right back here if you ever have any questions, or if a friend asks you how something works, just send them this video. So with that out of the way, let's get right into it. In Destiny 2, there are four primary currencies used to enhance your gear. They are upgrade modules, enhancement cores, enhancement prisms, and ascendant shards. This may seem a little complicated on the outside, with the wide variety of terms at play, but trust me, it's very straightforward. Let's start with upgrade modules, as it's the easiest to explain. Gear in Destiny, as you may have noticed, has different power levels. The higher the number, the higher your overall power level becomes, and by proxy, the stronger you can become. One of the things Destiny does is allow you to infuse one piece of gear into another, bringing it up to your current level and keeping it relevant to you for a long period of time. Upgrade modules are how you do this. Anytime you want to infuse a piece of legendary or exotic gear, you will need the piece of gear you want to sacrifice and one upgrade module. After that, bam, it has taken the power level of the gear you sacrificed. There is one exception where you do not need an upgrade module, and that's if you're infusing the same piece of gear. Let's take these two toil and trouble shotguns I have. One is 1310, and one is 1320. If I decided to infuse the 1320 shotgun into the 1310 shotgun because I liked this weapon roll better, it would only cost me 1000 glimmer, which is basically your money, because they are the exact same weapon. This applies to every piece of legendary or exotic gear, weapons and armor alike. Now, how do you get upgrade modules, and what's the best way to farm them? Well, you have a variety of different sources, the early levels of your Season Pass is one of the more direct sources, you can get this just by playing the game and leveling up. The major source that you will be getting them from is the Gunsmith, Banshee44 at the Tower. You can purchase one for a handful of Glimmer, Legendary Shards, a single Enhancement Core, and a Planetary Material that changes on a daily or weekly basis. If you're ever short on Planetary Materials or Glimmer, I highly suggest heading to the Tangled Shore destination and visiting the Spider. He is Destiny's major currency vendor and changes his stock and prices daily. I do not, however, recommend purchasing enhancement materials from him, as they are incredibly expensive and aimed more towards players like myself with hordes of legendary shards. Other sources of upgrade modules include Crucible and Gambit rank rewards, which you can reset and theoretically farm for the entire season if you play enough of that playlist. And Ghost Mod perks are also very useful, which you should just randomly obtain by playing the game. There is a type of mod for every material in every playlist. Essentially, Slap this mod on your ghost shell, complete a task in said playlist, and you have a chance at being rewarded a material. For example, with this mod, Vanguard Modularity, you have a chance at being rewarded with an upgrade module every time you complete a strike or nightfall. Eververse also sells booster materials for Bright Dust, but do not buy these, they are a complete and utter waste of your Bright Dust when there are so many other methods of obtaining the same materials. Just save all of your Bright Dust for, for armor or weapon ornaments or whatever else you want. Don't, don't waste it on this, it's... it's... It's pathetic that these are even here. Also, please note that you can only hold a max of 25 upgrade modules in your inventory at a time. Upgrade modules over 25 may go to your postmaster, but I can't confirm this. I've never gotten to that point. Now that upgrade modules are out of the way, we have three materials left to go. I'm going to talk about what all of these do first and explain how to farm them all after as they go hand in hand together, and I really don't want to confuse or overwhelm anybody. So. Weapons, armor, and ghost shells in Destiny all have what's called a masterwork. Essentially, this is a level on your gear, and leveling it up makes it statistically superior to what they would be normally, and it provides a plethora of gameplay changes. Enhancement cores are the first and most common material, followed by enhancement prisms, and then ascendant shards respectively. You can think of them as stronger versions of the material that allows you to level up gear completely. Each masterwork level, from 1 to 10, gets progressively more and more expensive until you fully masterwork it. On weapons, masterworking provides a stat bonus to a randomly rolled stat on that weapon, a kill tracker, and allows you to generate orbs of light on multi-kills. These orbs give you super energy and other gameplay bonuses based on your build. For ghost shells, masterworking provides more energy slots for you to use different mods. Different mods have different energy costs. You can use up to 4 mods as long as they don't cost over 10 energy. The same applies to armor. 
However, Master Working Armor also provides a plus two bonus to every stat on your armor. Weapons and Ghost Shells can be masterworked solely with Enhancement Cores. Armor, on the other hand, requires a mixture of Enhancement Cores, Enhancement Prisms, and Ascendant Shards. The final level of Legendary Armor requires one Ascendant Shard, while the final level of Exotic Armor requires three. Now, how do you obtain all of these different materials? Let's go down the list, starting with Enhancement Cores. Enhancement Cores are technically the most common material, and they have no cap onto how many you can hold. Or, if they do have a cap, I have no idea what it is. You could hold literally, like, a thousand of them or more. But, since they are used in so many different things, it can sometimes really feel like you're short on them at times. The most common way to obtain these will be through daily gunsmith bounties. You can get these from Banshee44 at the tower, and completing them will reward you with an Enhancement Core. Afterwards, we once again have the Crucible and Gambit rank up rewards and Season Pass ranks. These also contain enhancement cores. Opening weapon packages from various vendors, such as Shax or Zavala or whoever, also has a random chance to drop them. If you're in a clan and can reach clan level 4 within a season, which should be doable, completing your weekly clan XP challenge will also reward you with 7 or 8 cores each time. But, if you're wanting to farm these as efficiently as possible, Nightfalls and Ghost Mods are going to be your best bet. Ghost mods will passively generate cores while playing your favorite playlist, and low-tier nightfalls have a chance to randomly drop materials on completion. The harder the nightfall, the better are the rewards. The way you obtain enhancement prisms and ascendant shards is exactly the same as everything I just mentioned about cores, but with a few key differences. You can only hold 50 prisms and 10 shards at a time. However, Excess prisms and shards will go to your postmaster. You can also use excess materials to buy more prisms and shards from Banshee44 at the tower. And that's essentially everything you need to know about upgrade materials in Destiny 2. But I, I know you might be thinking to yourself, Yami, bro, I already know this. Don't you have some, some of that special something something to get me rich quick? As a matter of fact, I do. Let's talk about Nightfalls again. Nightfalls in Destiny are essentially hard mode strikes. There's five difficulty options to them, the first two of which have matchmaking. The harder the nightfall you complete, the more you are showered in rewards. Master and Grandmaster nightfalls can also drop exotics, enhancement prisms, and ascendant shards. I fully believe that anyone in this game, regardless of skill level, can complete a master level nightfall. And for my fellow introverts out there, no, you don't need to talk to other people. So here's what you do. Get to a level where you feel comfortable tackling master nightfalls. Start running them every week. Sometimes there are weeks where Nightfalls drop double the rewards for the whole week. You will be swimming in Enhancement Prisms and Ascendant Shards in no time. And what's even better, you can turn some of those extra Prisms into Enhancement Cores if you're low. This will eat into your Legendary Shards a bit if you aren't careful, but Legendary Shards are so abundant it doesn't really matter. So here's what you do. Go to your Collections tab. Go to the Armor section. Scroll down to Leveling and grab a piece of Rare Armor out. You'll notice that these all start with 5 energy every time you pull one out. Level it up to 8 and dismantle it. You essentially just spent 3 cores and 1 prism to get 6 cores back, so a 3 core profit. Repeat this for as many prisms as you're willing to spend, and when you're done, go farm more nightfalls for more prisms. Take all of this information I've provided to you and combine it together, and you'll never need to worry about materials ever again. Guaranteed. For my new Destiny players out there, I'm sure this may have felt a bit overwhelming, but if you slowly digest everything I've said today and just, you know, play the game, take your time, you'll be a rich guardian in no time. I hope I was able to offer some help today, and if you enjoyed the video, consider subscribing. If not, yell at me in the comments or some shit, I don't know. But with that being said, my name's Yami, and I'll see you beautiful people next time.